All right, Coach, you guys had a game last Wednesday. How did you guys feel about the outcome of it? Um, great start. I mean, uh, good press to get us the, the, the chance to get the first goal, and then uh, the corner kick from Sinai. Um, good performance, I thought, overall. We kept possession. Uh, I think that we should have been able to keep possession for longer periods of time and made St. Ann chase more, but uh, that didn't happen. But I think that we felt fairly good about our performance for a majority of the match. I don't think we ever felt that we were, you know, it's a matter of time before maybe we give away the chance that hurts us. I felt like we were in control of most of the match, so I felt good about it. Um, yeah. In general, just how do you feel about the way the offense is playing now, kind of picking it up a little bit? Yeah, I think that we've done some really good things. I think that uh, there's a few things that we still need to work on. I mean, I don't think the last goal we've scored in the second half was a penalty kick against East Central, and before that was the first game of the season. So when we're talking about how to find challenges for the team, that's certainly one area that we're working on is trying to get better in that second half. Uh, and then the other part is, is trying to create some goals from other places. So I want to say our last four goals, maybe more, uh, come from things that are inside the six yard area. So right in, in front of the goal. So the corner kick directly into the goal uh, against St. Ed's. And then against Midwestern, we hit a corner kick. And again, it's right at the goalkeeper. She drops it, drops behind and shades there, like literally six inches away from the goal. So. Um, I'd like to see us again begin to diversify our finishing more. The question is, is can we do that? Do we have the ability to do that? I'm hoping that on Wednesday, you know, we're going to get a player back up front that will help us a little bit. So I'm hoping that will uh, make us more dynamic and make us more diverse in how we're scoring goals. Outside of getting back the one player, what are some changes you guys are looking to make? Um, you know, with Saturday's effort, having the final goal get scored in the 60th minute, and it kind of stays right there at the draw. Um, so for Wednesday, what are you looking at, you know, getting her back to getting acclimated? Yeah, well, it's just kind of getting her back up to speed and, and for the team to try and find her and, and what she can do. You know, that's, I'm talking about Maddie Brzezikas, and then we've also got Grace and, and Shay as well uh, that are up there. Um, we had actually some good chances against Midwestern. Uh, late in the game, about the final 12, 15 minutes, we brought Abby James back in, and, and I really think she made a good difference for us. And we created some really good chances for Grace and for Sinai, and we come away with nothing on them. And I think we just need to be better in those chances and, and score. I think Sinai had a chance, uh, her second chance of the game. So first chance she gets, she shoots wide. And then the second chance, the goalkeeper is out of the play, wide open goal, but she's so negative in her self-thought that she decides she's going to pass. And so she lets the goalkeeper, the goalkeeper literally, you guys are the goal. The goalkeeper is here. She can see the complete goal, but she's so in her head about the previous thing that she lets the goalkeeper come back and then she sends like a 30 yard ball across for someone to finish. And I think that, you know, that's an example of you got to play through some mistakes and not live in the past, especially if you're a forward. You want to learn and get better, uh, but you can't live in the past. The def uh, a forward has to have a very short term memory so they can make a ton of mistakes. You never remember any of those. You only remember the ones that are successful. Now, you may go back and look at things that you made mistakes on and try and learn from them, but you don't live with them uh, and let them guide everything that you do. Thank you, Coach. Okay, thanks.